All right, well, we're going to snap up a Calamity Bearer. That's not that hard. That That's a pretty straightforward pick. This card is basically just a 5-mana 6-4 with upside. So we're good with that. Shepard is fine. Skullcairn is fine. Would love to wheel a Squash. That goes real well with the Calamity Bearer. Um, but it'll depend on how much people want to be in red. But yeah, easy, easy Calamity Bearer here. Mm, following that up with... Possibly just a Blood Sky Berserker. Giants obviously want to be blue if possible. But like Berserker is just really good. Like it doesn't it like all you need is like two turns of double spelling to just make this into a five-five that you paid two mana for. It's just like very, very high upside card. If I wanted to stay fully on color, I could take Liberator, but I genuinely think Berserker is just going to be better. Um, also, this is a Berserker, notably, so this still does fit into the red-black sub-theme of Berserkers, um, which you love to see. Um, otherwise, like, yeah, a pet maybe on the wheel if we end up actually being in that archetype. Axe Guard Cavalry could be fun, but yeah, I'm going to take the Blood Sky Berserker here and be pretty happy about that. Ooh... Probably just going to take the Giant's Amulet here. Alternatively, I could take Army Slays the Troll. We are streaming. Hi. Oh, hello. I've been told the acoustics are a little tinny, so definitely more uh, incentive. Right now. What did we say it was 6x8? Six 6x9, by six by I think. 6x9, okay. So we're going to grab the Giant's Amulet because it does go well with the Calamity Bear, and I do think it's the best card in this pack. I don't think this rune is particularly good. Arnie is okay as well, but that also takes us away from... I don't know. Both of these kind of take us away from a color, but this one commits me less. Um, DC says hi. I think she's gone, but if she goes back, I'll tell her. Yeah, I'm going to take the Giant Samulet, because it also it goes well with my Calamity Bear as well. Um, here I'm probably just going to take the Bloodline Pretender. Notably, if I choose Giant or Berserker, it still gets the bonus off Calamity Bearer. And means I don't have to make like a super hard choice. Ruthless U is solid. DC says hi. Huh? DC Rainer says hi. Well, hi. There you go. Um, Bloodline Pretend. Yeah, so we're just going to grab that. Kind of put off decision making a little longer. I will say that Red is not looking particularly open, which is a little disconcerting black seemingly decently open though as well as potentially the white deck yeah quite possibly new office indeed yeah we are upstairs now we are upstairs and free of the bedroom and of the wi-fi for that matter as i was saying um do i want like port of carfell Maybe just take, I think maybe just take a way down here. I think I'd take a way down here. That was a pretty unclear pick for me, though. These packs have been a little bit all over the place. I'm having a lot of trouble finding my line. Here, I'm going to take the Novel Slumber Mound. I do think it's just the best card in the pack. Oh, no, I'm taking a rare. Never mind. Taking the rare. Putting it immediately in the sideboard. Didn't realize that was a rare. It's quite bad. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> which is probably why it's a rare. Lifelink, Rune of Sustenance, Christ Almighty, man, this pack. These packs have just been not good. I'm going to take the Grim Draugr here. It does go well with the Berserker theme a little bit. <sighs> Bergstrider is the best card here, and it is a giant. Yeah, Bergstrider is actually just the best card here, I think. Emmerstorm Skull Karen wield out of this pack. That's interesting. That card is strong. Well, I don't know if we're doing that, Pete. I don't know if we're doing that. We'll see, though. We'll see, though. Um, I guess I'll take the Infernal Pet. It does go well with, like, the Berserker strategy here. Or, like, the Blood Sky Berserker specifically strategy here. Definitely don't want the Colossal Plow. What a weird noise. A 
recruiter here, I guess. Like, we're certainly black. Black does seem open. And then we're just kind of trying to figure out what our next color is. Because, like, none of it has really seemed to be appealing so far. So we'll, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Red was not open is the sad reality, though, I believe. Uh, I will take a very late port of Carfell here. Maybe we're blue-black. Kind of looks like we might be blue-black. Think to part the realm is better. They do very similar things, but this one's much cheaper. Hmm. Yeah, as much as I like this Calamity Bearer card, it is not looking good with what we're with what the rest of the deck is doing. It's a bit of a standout card right now. Okay, ooh, so a Runeforge Champion, which we will be picking. What would I take if it wasn't here? Kind of a weak pack, generally. Maybe Carfell Harbinger. Maybe Wither Crown. Probably Wither Crown. Runeforge Champion is interesting. And again, certainly to pick. Just a bunch of rant. Jesus Christ. Okay. Where do I have this? Wait, is it Alt? Oh, this will actually be my last one, uh, for what it's worth. I think that's actually the first rare I've completed. We're taking it either way and, like, maybe splashing it in a black-red deck or in a black-blue deck. It doesn't seem terrible. It really doesn't. Maybe we'll have the Mistwalker. Maybe we'll have the Snow-Covered Mountain. Might actually splash this one. This is... Oh, gee. Wow. Okay, now red's just open again? Like, what? I'm just getting, like, bomb-quality red cards all of a sudden. Oh man, I don't know. This is weird. This is really weird. This is a good pack for red too. Craven Hulk and a Frostbite on the wheel would be fine. Bird Strider, Rune of Flight. Like these are all very strong cards. Okay, I'm taking the Dragon King Berserker pretty easily. Take another World Tree here. What would I take if I wasn't here? Probably the Axe Guard Cavalry. But yeah, take the World Tree. Get our rare draft on. You're not wrong about that, Kieran. Also, how's it going, friend? Um, look, this is actually a thing that you bring down upon the stream. Like, check the VODs. I haven't been blue-black this entire goddamn format. And now you're here, and lo and behold. So this is on you. This is on you. I'm taking no responsibility for this. I'm going to take the, speaking of taking no responsibility for things, I'm going to take the Axe Guard Cavalry here. I kind of want to plant a flag in red, at least in this direction. It's, okay, look. All right, red's, red's back on the menu. Red's back on the menu. I don't exactly know what we're going to do about it, but I'm, I'm, I'm putting it back in for now. This is not the snow bland I'm looking for. This card is very bad, right? Like, this card hasn't gotten better. Yeah, I, I like it a lot. The acoustics leave a little bit to be desired, but again, there is a carpet in the works for that particular issue. Um, so we'll see how that goes. The hell am I taking here? This is all kind of poopy. I can take the Tremendous Helm. That doesn't really seem good. Man, maybe the Helm is fine. Actually, yeah, the Helm is fine. It helps with the cheat with the double spell turns. You would have taken Stroke? Yeah, fair enough. I could absolutely see Stroke. Like, I'm, I'm not at all prepared to to make the case Ooh, this is a really good pack for us this is actually a really nice pack sulfurous mire would actually just be fine but there's also carfell kennel master and a craven hulk y'all know i'm just thinking craven hulk right i'm glad to know that it's not brutal like i i can notice it because i can hear it in my own ears as i'm listening to myself but i'm glad that it's not like distractingly bad uh, this might actually be playable on this deck. I think it's better than Coma's Faithful. I thought about the land. I really did. Uh, I think here I'm going to actually. I think here is where we make up for that. I think so. Yeah, I think we are some sort of weird Grixis file. Probably, maybe. Um. Ooh, didn't wheel any of the cards I really wanted to wheel from this pack. We have a bunch of red cards, but they're like all kind of crappy. Couple of decent green cards. So green was probably pretty open. Or at least the top end of the green was. Jeez, yeah, Rootless U. That's a very late Rootless U. I'm gonna take the Rune of Flight though. Rune of Flight's actually good in this deck. 
Um, probably with the hawk. Like probably not, but probably better to take the hawk and cut the blue card than anything else. Mm. No, no, get out. Take the uncommon. Yeah, we'll have to sort this out. This is a little bit of a mess right now, but I don't know. I think we have something cohesive in some combination of cards here. We'll see how it works. I think I needed to take the uh, the spell over the land in that and the pack that you're referring to, Pete, just because not knowing where we're at right now makes me oh god, this pack oh this pack hurts. This pick hurts, man. Do I just like super discipline and take the insert of greatness? Because like, god damn, Demon Bolt is a hell of a card. Demon Bolt is an absolutely hell of a card, and it's not even remotely wheeling. F. Insertion of Greatness is so freaking bad. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not taking the rare here. Screw it. I'm just taking the Demon Bolt. Um. Yeah, no, that, that, that would have hurt a little bit too much, I think. It's just such a bad rare over such a good card. Like, here I think I'll just take the Cerulf, because, like, the cards that I could take here, like, this is probably the best of them, even then I don't care that much. So, like, it's I'm not losing, like, a very, very high-quality card, but, like, passing on a Demon Bolt there would have been pretty agonizing. Hmm. Probably just taking the Carter here. Although I could take Mistwalker. Um, wait, was there a rare in that pack that I missed? I didn't even look. I didn't even look. Oh, I thought you meant you meant the, you meant the Cerulf. Sure, sure, sure. Um, I'm actually considering taking Mistwalker here and trying to wheel one of the two Doom Scourges. I think I'm going to take the Mistwalker here, and I think that's actually pretty correct. I would love the Icebound Pillar, but we're nowhere near snow enough for that, unfortunately. Yeah, I like this. I like the Mist Walker here. Um, this pack's kind of meh. What's my curve look like right now? This is a two. This deck's a bit of a pile. We'll have to figure it out as we go along. I don't think. Hmm. I could take Skull Raid, actually. Or I could take over on a shore. I really don't know what I'm supposed to take here. Actually, yeah, let's take the Scamfire Shadow Mage. This card has impressed me more than I thought it would. I just lost my sound on the game again. That's weird. Like I just lost all sound, it cut out. It's done that before. Yeah, I'm getting like no desktop audio for it. That's weird. I think I take the Haggy Mob here. I already have one way down. I don't think I want multiples. I think I'm just supposed to take another Depart the Realm. F. I don't know what this deck is trying to do. That was, that was a very confusing pick for me. I definitely am willing to believe I made the incorrect pick there. Here I'm gonna take Crush the Week. I think that card is just very strong, generally. There's a lot of X2s in this format, like that are like good X2s, no less. Sherman Drift Fail might be important just because of the three color nonsense pile that we have here. Um, I think I like that better than anything else. Yeah, let's take the Sherman Drift Fail. Uh, garbage rare, but not. I guess Miss Yara is pretty good. This of the Yara is pretty good. Do I just take the random garbage rare? I have two out of four of this thing already. Uh, this is good. Whatever, I'm just gonna take the stupid rare. Wow, even that, why did the draft want me to take that? Just because it's a rare, I guess. That's kind of funny. Um, I'm gonna take the snow covered island here just for the Berg Strider. It gives us like three snow lands, which I think is like probably enough for the Berg Strider to like be pretty consistent. And that makes me happy. Um, this pack does not make me happy. This pack does not spark joy. Ugh. I'm not playing anything in this pack, unfortunately. Shimmer Fail or another Snow Covered Island. It's one of these two cards for sure. Um, 
Shimmer's. Yeah, I'm not thinking about the Shimmer Shift out here. My mana is going to be very sketchy. I actually will take this. Renishora seems fine. All right, friends, what are we doing here? What is happening? What is the plan? Because I don't know what the plan is. Bell sending me rugs on Discord. Apologies for everybody who went to check their notifications. Um, man, I mean, I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing that I only need to cut one card from this deck to make it a 40 card deck. Part of me kind of wants to play Seize the Spoils. Part of me wants to play Seize the Spoils in like 18 lands, but I don't know if that's excessive. Giant's Amulet is like basically a five drop. Oh my god, Val, please. Stop debating my chat. <laughs> um, yeah, I kind of like the spoils in this deck. Is that absurd? We're like barely black too, is the thing. I could cut, okay, what happens, what happens if I just cut the black cards? Most of these black cards are like very bad. Okay, now what? Take the Skull Cairn out. Then what do I play? Deck is like barely playable. Hey, how's it going Cam? Long time no see, actually. Way Down is good. Way Down is good, but I don't know if it's, like, worth splashing for. You know what I mean? Like, it, it is admittedly a strong card. Well, I guess I would take Port of Carfell out if I did this, too. I just don't know if it's worth it. This deck did not quite get there. This deck is capable of, like, probably 2-1-ing, but I would, need, I would need to get a little bit lucky. This feels like a 1-2, and a unfortunately, for me. You think I play black, eh? God, I probably do too. I guess I, spl I guess I splash it. Yeah, I guess I splash it. So what are my three best black cards? Like way down, Shadow Sage. Jesus, like what's going to be slim pickings here, friends? Slim Figgins and like Wither Crown because it's a removal spell, I guess. Like, oh boy, oh boy, that's not a good deck. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, that's not a good deck. Yeah. Ooh. If that's not a ring endorsement cam, I don't know what is. <laughs> I kid, I kid. This I did this to myself. I'm just lashing out at chat because I'm a terrible drafter, apparently. I'm really not a terrible drafter, but this draft did not come together. Red was so cut in the first pack, and then just so open in the second pack, and it was like just very confusing, and we ended up with this nonsense file as a result. Hi, uh, chat. What do we do? Play the world tree. Splash green for the Cerule Foth world tree. Oh, is it bad that that doesn't even seem, like, completely absurd? Like, is that how hard we've trained wrecked? Is that that seems like reasonable advice right now? Oh, boy. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. Yeah, that I'm aware of. That I'm aware of. It's colorless land until it's my sixth land and then it becomes a rainbow land. What a weird card, especially if you're not green. From colorless to rainbow in, in, in six lands. The world tree story. Fuck this deck. It's so bad. Probably like Brine Barrow Intruder is like somehow playable. And then like maybe just strategic planning to like Filter away my terrible cards. 
Oh, this is still 17 lands? Yeah, F it. I'm going to cut that and play an extra land then. Tremendous sound looks really bad in this deck too. Yeah, let's just add a land. Don't we don't need forests. Let's just add some lands. Holy shit, this is such a disaster pile. Oh man. Oh, this deck is great. Don't play Sarulf? Oh, but I can play it off the world tree so easily, Cam. Uh like worst case I can discard it to like seize the spoils. In my 18 lane deck. This is probably fine, right? Uh... Yeah, this is very bad. Don't do this, chat. Um, Jesus Christ. Maybe like Draugr Recruiter just for like some like grindy mid game recursion bullshit. Yeah, I'm gonna be happy if I win a match with this deck, and ecstatic if I win too. <laughs> that's that's where we're at with this one. That's where we're at with this one. All right, let's get some lands in here. Woof. Am I playing this stupid world tree? I'm definitely not, right? Like, this is just a terrible idea. Just a colorless land? No, we're not doing that, we're not doing that. All right, so we're Grixis garbage. We're gonna play like one extra of each of these, I think. All right, so one, two, three, four, uh, basic islands, plus the snow covered for sure. Double swamps and five mountains, I guess. Wait, am I still on short after that? 17, okay. I want another one of. I'm not knowingly running 20 lands. This says 17 right now. All right, sounds good. Enjoy the apex, uh, Cam. Um. Oof. I think this is fine, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine blue sources, five, six, seven, eight red sources, and then one, two, three, four, five black sources. I either want an extra red source or an extra black source, and I can't quite tell. I think I want extra red because I do have one double red card. Let's get one more mountain in there, call it a day. 20 lands. Sure. Ship it. This is gonna be something, chat. I had an extra of each because at the time I believe I was at like 15 lands or something. So at 15 plus three up to 18. All right, I don't know. This is a deck that I've drafted, chat. Is this what happens when I don't stream for a couple of days is I just forget how to draft, apparently? Oof. Oof, oof, oof. You do hate to see it. Oh my god, they're all just spamming me with carpets. Six, uh, six feet seven by nine ten. Ooh, that might be too big. It's a very large rug. Feels like almost a foot too big in both directions. 
I mean, it's playable. God, I forgot we had like freaking Dwarven Reinforce. God damn it. This is probably bad. This is not good in my aggro deck. <laughs> or in my not at all aggro deck. Ugh, yeah, I'm gonna maybe look at replacing that with like the uh the minus two minus o creature or something, just because at least that one can kind of like interact. Bring some permadeath hollow knight. Damn, that's in that's intense. I know for a fact I would get way too tilted playing a permadeath game. But but good on you. Good on you for sure. Um Suspend these assholes. All right, I mean, finding black ain't bad. So What's the plan here? Do I run out the idiots because they don't have any? Yeah. Yeah, I guess I just do this. This is fine. I think this is fine. They don't have any pressure on board right now. So I may as well get in while the getting's good, I suppose. That one's not bad. Referring to this, not this. This is like awkwardly not great at all. Uh, so I actually can't weigh this down, even though I'd much rather do that than cast a demon bolt on this. But I think I do cast the demon bolt just to like. And Val just absolutely going off in my Discord mentions right now. Yeah, perfect mana draws the only uncastable card. You got it. The only good thing here is that we do get to cast the Bergstrider on curve and like keep our opponent sort of off balance a little bit, which is not the worst. Furious Retribution? Are you freaking kidding me? This card is messed up. Ooh, Berkshire does get to mess with this pretty badly, though. So I don't hate that. I do not hate that. So I actually won't untap, which means it doesn't get the tap ability of the second chapter on Furia's, which is, like, very relevant. Not the worst. Not the worst. Like, actually a very, very good answer to that card. Like, I got to just blank probably one of the crappiest, cha like, one of the most, like, dangerous cha uh, chapters on that card. So this does have the double snow up right now. That's a little scary. Again, not a terrible thing to draw here, frankly. Let's make this thing fly. Removal spell? No. All right. Love to see it. Love to see it. Um. um, 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 um. Okay, let's get the Berserker going here. Then I can Wither Crown the Troll on the following turn, I think. Are we going to get there this game? Like, my opponent has tons of cards. So, like, the answer is still probably just no. But they kind of doing things. I'm kind of doing things here. So I'm gonna take eight here from the from the final chapter on retribution, which I don't love. Ooh. Single single use on raise dragger just to get back a random three two doesn't seem great to me. It feels like they felt like they should use their mana for like mana efficiency purposes, but like really just kind of like wasn't that good. Ooh. If they discard two here. Oh, well, that's not bad at all, is it? So let's discard, definitely discarding the Calamity Bearer, and then I think we just discard the Wither Crown then. 
Notably, Calamity Bear also turns off way down or turns on way down. Although apparently, way down is at sorcery, not an instant. Didn't know that. Is this card really good? It's a con it's conditional and a sorcery. Like, I don't know how I feel about that. Mm, cavalry happens. Cavalry happens. Um, you know, let's shove. Let's just shove and see how they block. Uh-huh. 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 That is extremely fine, I think. These are fine blocks. These are extremely fine blocks. I will forego a dragon here in order to... Oh, no. Wait. I once again forgot that way down... I literally just talked about it. No, do I do that then? Wait, so they're going to take four... I thought I could like weigh down in response, but that's kind of shit. Hmm. Yeah, this was worse than I thought, than I wanted it to be, but not the V worst. I still have now a 5 5 dragon, which is going to kill my opponent. Like, I have two lethal threats in the air right now. So my opponent may just die here. Maybe. Possibly. Like, they literally need to answer two cards of mine. Okay, Marshall kind of does it, but not really. Sure. Those are both warriors, eh? All right, fair enough. What's the next plan? Ooh. All right. This is fine. And now I just shove, right? I think this is just good. They could have something here, but yeah, that, that deads you. Okay, we won a game, folks. We won a game. Not entirely sure how we managed that, but we got there. We got there. Some of these freaking dwarfy bastards were like kind of okay. Sure, sure. Why not? Why not? Um, all right. Deck's perfect, I guess. Deck's perfect, I guess. No double red, no snow, not enough mana. Perfect hand. This is much better. Keep this and lose the Wither Crown since I can't cast it. This hand's actually pretty okay. Rune of Flight on a Craven Hulk is not a bad deal. Not a bad deal indeed. Drew a swamp. That is fine. Uh, so let's just foretell this. Maybe I should have just held it up. I don't know if foretelling that was better or worse. Uncertain. Um. Foretell this one too. It did let me do that though, which is nice. Hmm. A crappy deck is kind of getting there. It helps that my opponent is just on not lands so far. But yeah. 
Craven Hulk probably like kind of difficult for my opponent to deal with unless they have like poison the cup or something. Wither crown. Uh Why didn't I get a chance to do this? I guess it's beginning of your upkeep. No, I don't want to sacrifice this. Um, let's just depart the realm and then recast it. Decent enough use for that. I pay one life and in exchange I get to keep my 4-4. Uh, my four -four. Wither Crown is good. It often will just read two mana suspend one, like destroy dragon creature suspend one, but every once in a while you kind of get to get them. Uh, Veil is decent, but let's draw a card first before making a decision on what to play. Ooh, Miss Walker's not bad. So what do I have? I have double, I have double everything except double black, but do I need double black for anything? No, right? I also don't need double red for anything. I have a lot of blue, so I definitely don't need the name blue. So let's play Shimmer Drift Veil and name... Uh, actually, wait, is the ability on this blue? It is blue, so maybe extra blue is fine. I can't think of any reason I would need double black here, unless I would... No, yeah, blue is fine, blue is fine. Getcha. Okay. I can live with that. I would like to draw some action at some point, but that actually counts as action, frankly. I will accept that. I will accept that. Damn, dude, what do I take? These are all really good. Why do I have to bottom three, two of these? I actually have to graveyard some of these? That's terrible. Damn, I think I take the giant's amulet and just cast it here, honestly. Yeah. I think a four or five is just thick. Like, that's what I want. Somehow we're like kind of doing it. Wait, what did my opponent do? Did they goof somehow? Wait, why is this dead? Why did this die? What did I miss? I don't know what I missed, but my opponent just said oops and I'm okay with it, I guess. Um... I think we just win, right? This deals eight, this deals, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'll take it, chat. I'll take it. Dead ya. Uh... Well, there's our one win. I don't know if we'll get more, but we got the one. Someone go at Cam. We got the one.
Ds, Ds. Why be good when you can be lucky? Yeah, this is like actually a reasonable hand. Needs a red source or two, but not super urgently. Needs a land a bit more urgently, but it doesn't need to be a red land. Okay. I mean, admittedly our opponent did get mana screwed in the second game, so like that was definitely part of why we won. No doubt about that. But W is a W, no matter how you acquire it. God, we're so good at this game. Why be, what? As I said, W is a W. Hmm, interesting. So they didn't cast the rules. All right, so I'm just gonna cast the Volatile, the Dwarven Reinforcements here. We got four mana next turn, so I can like Rune of Flight. Or like double, depart the realm, suspend. Mm. Maybe not always, but often. This card has impressed me. I did not think that I would be impressed by this card, but I have actually enjoyed seeing it so far. Um, it is certainly stopping my, uh, my crappy two ones, that is for sure. Yeah, I'm glad. I'm glad to see you say so, because certainly that is a provably incorrect statement. All right. Yeah, poison the cup. I mean, honestly, like if we use premium removal on my random common, I'm not happy about it. Obviously, I'd rather still have a four four in play, frankly. But I mean, they bottom bottom, which I guess is better than top top. You know, I'll take. Whoa, really? Okay. I mean, I'll take two and attack back for four. That seems fine. I mean, I'm sure they have a follow up here, but not even a great one, frankly. Yeah, like that just doesn't seem like what my opponent wanted to be doing. I could be wrong about that, but easy attack here. And so Shimmer Drift Veil. I already have double red and double blue. I have a black, but I don't need more. I think I just want another blue here. I think blue is fine. And then I think I just... The Mistwalker here? It's not the most mana efficient thing to do. But I'm not likely to put these Depart the Realms anytime soon. So I think it's fine. It also blocks quite well, of course. So this is an elf. They just put it as a 1 3 to trigger that. Sure. I'll block here. Maybe they have a trick, maybe they don't. Sure. All right, one more and we can do something okay with that. Resetting the, the pretender should be pretty good. What do I want to do here? I think I just want to play the amulet. Get in for one here, peck in. Kennel Master ain't bad. Kennel Master ain't bad. Uh, how much does this need to pump? Two. They're all indestructible, of course. So I'll block. I'll block this one, I guess. And then just take the four. Ooh, you don't hate to see that, do you? Um, no, you don't hate that at all. Hmm. It's cost two to equip. I think I'm gonna chill on this. I'm going to double suspend parts. 
give myself the ability to cast one of them. Peck in for one again. Because I really, I would like to be able to play the Calamity Bear on a turn where I can also equip it through the amulet and give it protection. That seems pretty good. Uh, so this gets plus one plus oh and menace until end of turn. Wait, but they didn't give it menace. So I get to just do this. What? I think they must have thought it was like the troll or got like indestructible or something. Cause like Yeah, I don't think they meant to do that, certainly. That's that's awkward for them. Uh let's bounce the pretender. Land is nice. Get to go. Calamity Bearer. Let's move this over. That's fine. Oh yes, Mistwalker is a giant. Mistwalker is absolutely a giant. I did not miss that, don't you worry. We are gonna do some damage with that one. I think we can just win next turn if I'm not mistaken. Give this flying, it deals six. Then double pump this to three deals another six. I guess they we go. I guess they go to one. It doesn't kill them, but like they're also not doing anything. Alternatively, I could just like double bounce their shit. Nah, because now the mass vandal actually has targets. I don't really want to give it targets. Yes, yeah, so we don't even need to worry about the run ashore. Let's do this. See what happens. Ah, I guess I shouldn't have played my land first. That was bad. Yeah, because I don't even get the extra pump out of it. That was that was just bad. That was just bad. I apologize, chat. That was loose. I don't think it's gonna matter because I think this Immerstrom Skull Cairn is just gonna or this like Calamity Bearer plus uh, Mist Walker combo is just gonna like freaking ruin them. But but it was still bad to do that. You know, even if they deal with the Calamity Bear, they're now just dead to the Mistwalker in the air, so. Like, Mistwalker just kills them by itself. Yep. Alright. Alright. Game two. So my opponent's playing, like, Tribal... Tribal, basically. They basically just got a bunch of changelings from the looks of things, but they did name Elf. So I guess there's some sort of like an Elf sub-theme at the very least happening. I wasn't super impressed by what I saw though, to be perfectly honest. Like there's a couple of decent ones there, but nothing like incredible. Um, I don't want to change anything. The two ones looked really bad against that deck. <laughs> like particularly bad i'm wondering if maybe i don't want like the brine barrow intruder instead we might get two wins with this we might get two wins with this we haven't even drawn our battle of frost and fire yet which would be pretty spicy um yeah i kind of like cutting the reinforcements here and just doing this instead sure Uh, hmm. How do we feel about this? It's a bit slow. But Crush the Week does a lot of work buying you back into a game. It's pretty close to a mulligan. I've got two, like, pseudo-uncastables right now. Maybe it is a mulligan. Yeah, let's, let's do that. Don't love that. I guess we get rid of, like, a mountain, probably. 
I think I'd rather keep the strategic planning than a mountain. Yeah, I don't want to count my chickens just yet, so we're not going to claim two wins before it happens. That's not great for me. Um, God. This one I will describe the strategic planning, actually, because I have an actual curve if I draw the right lands for it. Um, Sure, let's spend that. Sorry, foretell that. I don't know. I'm, I'm, it's going to take me a long time, possibly forever, to not just call that foretell. Or to not just call that suspend, I mean. Sure, take the one here. So obviously naming giants here. My whole hand is just giants. Name coward. Am I a coward if I name a coward or am I a coward if I don't name coward? Can't quite tell. Instructions unclear. All right, if we can just like literally just draw land, land, land in a row, I think we are just going to run away with this game, quite frankly. If I can just draw three lands in a row and have two of them be blue sources, we're in good shape. Tavar Kel. Okay. Make a 1 1. F. That's none of the things I asked for. And we'll certainly trade their two elves for this. What? Oh, I don't want to trade this for two stupid elves. No, we're passing. This is so unfortunate, but we're definitely passing here. Yeah, got greedy discarding that mountain, I guess. Or putting the mountain back, I suppose, is what I actually did. Still, though, I don't know. Yeah, elf makes sense, especially given what we've seen. Jeez, I forgot that uh, Pretender just cared about ETB, not cast. That's pretty good. This, that's pretty good. This just gets bigger and bigger and bigger every goddamn turn. Oof. All right. On the right side, so does mine. But, yeah, and the, uh, the run ashore will do some work, thankfully. Doesn't look like they're really trying to build towards the emblem. Yeah, they're just like, they're just build a bearing over here. Jarl? Wait, why? Why did you just main phase this? What did you think this did? Man, my opponent's got a good deck, but has been playing like a bit of a fish. I'm not gonna lie. Like, this has been a little awkward to watch, frankly. God, the Kennel Master now? Okay. Yeah, I mean, take five. <clears throat> Uh, I think this is fine. Um, we are just going to gain some life here. Just gain a couple life, NBD. We're just going to chill here. We're just chilling here. This is okay. This is okay. Sure. That literally doesn't do anything. I honestly think we might be in okay shape here. But holy crap, how good would it be if I did draw the Battle of Fire and Ice? That would be actually just the most unreal draw here. Just blow up their entire board minus the Pretender. Okay. This attack isn't good unless you're attacking with both. Because I can just block... Yeah, I can just double block this, right? Like, sure, this is fine. Sure. Okay. I don't hate that. Don't hate that. So I think I am just going to play the Bergstrider out as a 4-4 here. Maybe I don't. Actually, you know what? Let's just chill. Let's just chill. They're going to make an elf before going to combat, and then I get to just bounce it and, like, reset it. 
Wither Crown. Okay. I guess. Still no five. I'll probably play it. I'll probably keep that in play for a while, honestly. Sure. Whoa. Block that, block that. We are still in this, folks. We are still in this. Yeah, Bloodline Pretender. Naming Elf, you got it. All right, so moment of truth here. Do we discard this? No, I think I keep it for now. Yes, that's really good. This is an instant? That's pretty huge for me. That's pretty huge for me. All right. Let's hang out then. Um, I'm actually going to attack Tavar here. Oh, yeah. I should have played a giant. I should have played a giant to actually threaten the Tavar. My opponent's like kind of thinking about this right now. They're not really sure what they want to do. Sure. Sure. Okay. Um, so do this. I'm gonna put Yeah, we're doing both. Uh so this is gonna go on top of your library. This is gonna go to your hand. Still in it, folks. Still in it. Take two. Take two. I'm going to keep this alive a little bit longer. A little bit longer. Does, unfortunately, mean... Yeah, this is fine. This is fine. I get to keep this tapped. Let's attack the Tavar again. Sure, sacking the elf. This is fine. No, well, the thing is, snow only hard taps things. It always keep like it basically does the Ajani thing. But if you spend snow, it actually un like. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. I misunderstood what this did. Tap it. Oh, so I should have actually tapped the other elf. Oh, I'm dumb. Yeah, no, I missequenced that horribly then. I misunderstood what it did and did not do. Um, Never mind. I, got, I could have actually cleared the Tavar there, which was bad. But I moderately misunderstood how that ability actually worked. Um... I just bounce the Bloodline Pretender again. No, I actually think I bounced my own uh, Shadow Sage this time. Mm hmm. Getting a little bit of life back. Just chilling now. Yeah, there shouldn't be a Tavar on board right now if I'd play that intelligently. But on the bright side, I do get a Skimfar Shadow Mage and I gained a couple life. Time will tell. Oh dear, that's very good for them, isn't it? That's very good for my opponent, isn't it? This asshole has Death Touch, is that right? No, he doesn't have Death Touch. Ooh, so I can actually trade for the Pretender this time? That seems good. That seems good. Take three, go to two, eat the Jarl, trade for the, or yeah, and then trade a creature for the Pretender. Pretty into that. Pretty into that. Okay. 
block. Actually, let's double block these two. Block this. Take three. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we definitely need to draw something. Like we're 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 still just hoping to draw here, but that sure shit ain't it. We're still at four creatures in, or like, hang on. So what happens here? What happens here? This is gone, so this just stops growing now. Um. If I want to clear the Tavar, I will just die. So that's not an option, unfortunately, for me. God, what a... I don't know. Then again, I gained the two that would put me at two here. So I don't know. Maybe that was right. Maybe that was right. Overall. Because it, like, gave me an extra blocker and gave me two life and stopped me from taking one for sure every turn. Three, six with death touch. Sure. Ooh, do you have a fight spell? That would suck. Fight spell would suck. Fuck. Struggle for Semfire is really bad for me. That's really bad for me. Yep, that's GG's. Well played opponent. All right, game three it is. Game three it is. Yeah, we were just a little bit too much on the back foot that whole game. I honestly don't know what more I was expected to do there. Um... I think that I played that to the best of my abilities, and we just didn't quite get there, unfortunately. Skull care myself, yeah. Is it target opponent or target player? Oh yeah, fuck me, it really is. That's funny. Um, that I guess would have been a thing. Yeah, I don't know. I think I think we're fine. I think we just hope to draw a little teeny bit better than the last time. Our mulligan did not work out for several turns, and that was not good for us. They also hit their Mythic Planeswalker and got to have it in play for like a thousand turns. Honestly, considering it was in play for that many turns, it really did take us quite a long time to die. And we were only like, we were like a couple of top decks away from stabilizing fully. So, I don't know. Wasn't that impressed to be perfectly honest. Um, yeah, I'll keep this. This is a turn two Berserker into a turn three Pretender. Like, I'm not ever mulliganing that. Berserker can like almost single-handedly take over a game and it will dominate the early game. Like, yes, the way down is a mulligan, but all the more reason. If that was the same hand on six, I would snap it off as well. So now it's the same hand on six plus a way down. So right now this is just a 2-2, two -two, of course. So if my opponent kills it between now and... Uh, whether, yeah, whether crown's a thing. Um, no, we'll just sacrifice that. We're not, we're not going to, like, desperately... Wow. Immediately punished. Just immediately punished for that. You do hate to see it. Maybe I should have kept it around. I know I I knew I had two departs. I was probably supposed to. No, we're still going to giant here. Um, I don't know. Yeah, maybe with two in the hand, I was like supposed to try to like play it out for a depart. I don't know. Certainly a little unfortunate. Jesus, speaking of unfortunate. Um... Pass, I guess. Couldn't even weigh down there, which feels bad. I certainly would have had I had the opportunity, but alas. Hmm. I guess I should have probably just foretold the depart. There was no real reason not to. Skim for Shadow, Sage, sure. Elf, Cleric, so I'll, so I'll lose one or they'll gain one. Who knows? Like, really, all that's just happening is they're playing a two. Yeah, sure, I'll lose a life. You got it. I guess, really, I'll lose three, but yeah, that's fine. No blocks. Hmm. Fuck me, dude. PSA, always tap manually for your foretells. It will auto tap or will try to tap you in the weirdest goddamn ways. Like for seemingly just no good reason whatsoever.
Fuck, man. Am I supposed to get this back? Or am I supposed to trade this off? Yeah, it kind of feels like I am. I don't think I can just keep taking five every turn. So actually, that's one of my better creatures, but I can't just be trading off like that for years. Or like just taking five like that. Sure. Um... I think you jinxed me, Pete. Take two. <laughs> this is fine, I guess. Perfect. That's the spirit. That's what we love to hear. All right. Like, we're kind of okay now. This is a stable board. This is a stable board. I have a bounce spell. What is this? Like, sure. Deal. Hmm, they were trying to bait me here. They baited me with the oops. That was like actually just a bait oops, which is very funny. I do appreciate my opponent's uh, gusto on that one. God, block source, please. Uh, no, we're just going to chill here. It's better removal spell if you really want to. Yeah, you got it. You absolutely got it, OP. All right. I'll probably just trade the cavalry for the Yarl now. But, like, we're kind of running roughly on parity at this point. Double bottoms, sure. That oops. It's, like, kind of funny because I, I can't say that I wouldn't have done it myself. But also, like, a little bit like, come on, dude. Like, it's very, uh, rotty. All right. So many good draws in this deck. So many good draws in this deck. That's really not one of those good draws, though. It's just really not. Hi, yi, 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 yi. Oh, this is going to be a good run ashore, though. They don't. I get the double bounce, and they don't get to recast either of them. You do love to see it. Um, so let's put the, uh, we're going to select both. Let's put this on top of the library and this in their hand. They might not even re want to re redraw the Grimdrager, honestly, so we might just put it on the bottom and essentially that counts as a removal spell if that's the case. They did keep it on top. I don't hate that. Fucking hell, man. May I have the Rune of Flight like a friggin' land just a cantrip? I think I actually will. Jesus. Okay. Okay, that, that's an actual card. That's an actual card that matters. Okay. Yeah, I mean, you hate to have to do it, but it means I don't take four next turn and do nothing. I'd love to have this Bergstrider be flying right now, but again, when in doubt, you do what you got to do. You're going to make us lose two here because they're both zombies, I'm guessing. Or they have a removal spell. That would be bad. Yeah, so this is just all lose two, go to eight. Oh my god. Like... 
I still have black sources in the deck, do I not? Somewhere? Fuck. Very tilting. Easy trade here, go to two. I need to draw a removal spell anyway, so this is kind of whatever. <sighs> Pretty unreal, honestly. Pretty unreal. Drew all the lands in my deck except none of the black ones. Yeah, I mean, guess I'll fucking die. Uh, I'm not happy about that. That was that was that was a game that we could have very easily won if we had drawn better. I'm trying to think of like sequencing mistakes that I might have made, but like, yeah, we played to our outs every single turn and just didn't draw to our outs. Well, the one two prophecy currently holding strong. The one two prophecy currently holding strong. Hmm. <laughs> All right, that sounds fine. Worst case, I can toss the way down to the spoils. Berkshire is solid. Okay. Like, I know my man is not perfect, but like, come on now. Mm, yeah, so we're definitely gonna seize the spoils here. And we're gonna discard, I think just the Wither Crown. Nice. Okay, this is actually solid, because now I can Berg Strider next turn. Berg Strider. Uh, do I want to weigh down or Berg Strider? Jesus. Oh, should I have? Okay, well, Berg Strider either way is fine here, because I definitely want to tap my opponent's garbage down. So I get to tap that down for a turn. Yeah, they're just all in on this one. Um, land. Uh, what do I want to do here? God. Uh, now I kind of wish I had the Wither Crown instead of the Way Down. Man, I don't know. This, this card has not impressed me. It just has really not impressed me. Um, like, I don't know if I'm actually being fair to it right now, but I don't know. I've, I've, I've just not enjoyed it so far. I think we're just going to go this. And, oh my god, why? Oh, because I have the stupid giant same and it thinks I'm just going to cast it for fucking no reason. I want to tempt them into killing this so that I can then kill their thing. Okay, that's actually okay. So I'll take another five here, which is like the not great part about this. But if they have a kill spell for either of my creatures... I agree with that. I do agree that it's like it's not a bad card. They're, they're like under no by no stretch of the imagination is it a bad card, but it just has not felt like the card I want to be casting basically just about ever. Um I have a case in point here. Uh so this is a one four. I need to deal with this, and I just like Kind of can't. I guess I just make a dragon here. Yeah, I guess I just make a dragon here. Don't attack, because I don't want to take two from the usher. Yeah, mega dragon's not that bad. All right, I guess that does trade with a 5-3. That does trade with a 5-3.
Start Mackin Dragons, indeed. I honestly want them to kill one of my stupid creatures so I can just friggin' weigh down something. Like, this weigh down is actually rotting in my hand right now. I was definitely either supposed to discard a creature or the weigh down to the, to the riches and not the... Oh, the worthy? Sure, that doesn't do anything. Doesn't do anything at all. Okay. All right, well now, now we're getting somewhere. Now we're getting somewhere. Um, where are we getting? Less sure. Yeah, I like planning here. I mean, I have to main phase planning. It is, in fact, it is, in fact, a sorcery. But, but I agree that planning to put a creature in the bin is a good idea. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. We're going to take the run ashore pretty happily here as well. Bin that. Weigh this idiot down. Okay, now, now, now we're just kind of going off. Now we're cooking with gasoline. Ooh, I love that it tapped me out of black. We love that for us. Village rights in response. Okay, acceptable. Extremely acceptable. Oh, it doesn't even die into a spirit? I thought it did for some reason, but it's just a shitty 1-1 one, one on the ground. That's remarkably better than the alternative. All right. Um. Well, now what do I do? Do I just yeet? It didn't tap me out of black, but it tapped my black swamp, which, I don't know, felt suspect, I suppose. Um, so I think we just ship with the two flyers, leave the ground pounders back. Well, the two flyers that don't have haste. Or that don't have summoning sickness, rather. Sadly, I cannot activate the ability, which is why I played the Mistwalker instead. Ironically, the Mistwalker is a dragon, which is actually really relevant here. No, 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 no. Some other spell tapped me out of the swamp. Then I tapped the Skull Cairn to cast the, uh, the thing. All right, I officially refuse to lose to this opponent. They just played two actual unplayably bad cards. Um, also, they are dead on board? Question mark? Yes. Yes, they are. Okay. We got there. Okay. Well, that went better. That went better. I... Dogged Pursuit is not ill-gotten inheritance, whatever some people seem to claim. It is... If you are, like, literally the most aggressive deck, if your entire deck just tops out at four, which, to be fair, maybe my opponent's deck did... We just sort of stalled them out really badly because we they couldn't make any good attacks. But like, like if it's the literal top of your curve and you're just the most aggressive beatdown deck, maybe it's fine. But it is unplayable to or like it is bad to unplayable in basically any other kind of deck than like the most extremely aggressive. And I will die on that hill. Um. Yeah, this like looked fine, honestly. Let's just ship it. I could see bringing in the Brine Barrow Intruder for something. They had a bunch of like cheap aggressive creatures. I feel like the Intruder could actually like be pretty good. What do I want to cut for that if I do that? I kind of do like doing that. Oh man, crush the weak against this opponent would be absurd if we ever drew it. Like maybe Draga Recruiter is like kind of medium against this. Maybe yeah, Draga Recruiter looks pretty medium here. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. Um, I mean, I guess that's true. I don't, yeah, it's not the worst card in the set. I absolutely will not make that claim because that would be patently untrue. Uh, this hand's pretty nice, honestly. This hand is pretty nice. We'll see how they open up. No one drop? Damn it, they actually have one drop. That's annoying. Um, ooh. 
Calamity Bearer is real nice, though. So this might just be a... Oh, yes. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. We can, we can fuck with this. All right. Get out of here. Way down. Um, all right. This Crush the Week is going to be real nice, I think. I'm actually, like, a little bit surprised they didn't boast the Usher there. Ooh. Ooh. All right. Suspending this. I want to see how many creatures I can hook them for. Because this crush is going to be really, really good when it comes off. That is, without a doubt, that is not a creature. That is not a creature. Mm. Yeah, I'll take another three here. I'm absolutely willing to take another three, especially if my opponent's missing land drops. We got a land drop. Ooh, a two, three. Two, three is cheats. Two, three is cheat. Hmm. Kind of dying right now. What do I want to do here? Go seize the spoils, discarding the cavalry into bounce champion? No. Okay, let's do this. We are going to discard the cavalry here. Seems fine. And we'll see what happens here. We'll see what happens here. I don't want to take five. I will probably be bouncing something. But I want to see if they play something else with toughness two or less before I attack. Perfect. That is exactly what I wanted them to do. Take three, they can't recast their three drop. Oh, beautiful. So now I get to just crush the weak into Mistwalker. You love to see it. You do love to see it. I guess they're gonna village write something in response here. That's what it looks like. Yep. I do remember that. Although to be fair, Savannah Lions is from Alpha, if nothing else. Um, so you know. Not that Savannah Lions had any upside, but it didn't have a downside. It was just a card, you know? Um I actually want to run out the Dragonkin Berserker here. Now that I think about it, not the not the Mistwalker. Because my opponent's not actually playing anything with haste, I assume. The Berserker tangles pretty well. Ooh, suspending, not casting their Golden Mod Champion. Interesting, interesting. Is this is this poison the cup? And they're just paying four so you get the scry out of it? No, they're double doing it. They're doing double that. Okay. That is acceptable as well. Um, actually, I'm going to do this here, because this doesn't actually do anything right now. And this is another Berserker, which means I can get this into play and actually gain a fair amount of life, depending on what my opponent does here. Sure, so score an Effigy into something. Code Spell Cleric, you got it. That is fine. It's a 3-4 deal. My opponent gets to play a lot of cards this turn, to be fair. I don't know if they're good cards, but they do get to play cards. And then the Gold Mod Champion, okay. Um, So I do have a Snow Land here. Notably, this is not a Wizard, or not a... Uh, Berserker. I'm gonna tap this with snow. Tap that down. No, no tax. I think we're doing okay here, folks. I think we're doing okay. There's the dogged pursuit. It does look a little bit better here, admittedly. Ooh, they just didn't attack me, huh? That's suspicious. 
to say the least. Um, hmm. I'm going to play the bearer here because it means my opponent continues not to have good attacks. Let's see. No attacks here. I want to see if my opponent makes a weird move against me. I would love next turn to be able to go land. Okay, yeah, so we'll take four in the air here. Yeah, that's not good for me. Land would be actually incredible next turn because it could go Mist Walker. Yes, okay, that's actually really, really good for me. So I can go Mist Walker into Shadow Mage or Shadow Sage, and I have five Berserkers here. So I go to so I go to eight. Nice. You do love to see that. And now I just gotta get this ship with like everything, probably. So this deals six, this deals eight. And this says four. Six plus eight plus four is 18. So that doesn't kill them. They can't double block anything meaningfully, but they, I think, I, so I guess I keep the idiots back and just ship with the giants. Okay. Ooh, good, 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 good. That's that's strong for them. That's strong for them for sure. Fair game, fair game. Oh, you know what? I was supposed to attack with everything. I have a um, I have an Emmersturm on board. Um, yeah, that was bad. That was bad. Do I go to three here? Yeah, I mean, Dogged Pursuit is putting me under some pressure. I would argue that this 4-4 four four is putting me under more pressure. Um, do I block here? No. I don't think I do. That is quite strong, actually. How much does this cost? Six mana and tap one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that's my whole turn. I have a lot. How do I have in my yard that really matters? Mostly just the Calamity Bearer. Hmm. I think I should just ship with everything here. Yeah. I think I ship everything, watch them make some bad blocks, and possibly get them really badly if they do. Yep. So this is fine, actually, right? Brandor Intruder. Uh, I guess it's a little bit less than I wanted. So they take two, wait, this is two. It's like one short, no matter how I come, cut it down. 
2, 8, 12. Yeah, they go to 12. If I reanimate my uh, big thing. So let's make a dragon. Let's do this. Shrink. This thing's attack. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah. I'm a little. Well, the Dragon Boy, to be fair, does have first strike. Don't forget that. Though they could have blocked differently as well. Uh, with Port of Carthel. Okay. Sure. I mean, this is just them flexing on me now, I guess. I guess I'll get more info out of this. Double way down. And they have these two chuckleheads. Sure, like I'm done on board, Opie. I don't know why you're doing all this. You could have just tapped my dragon with the gold mod champion. Um, yep, yeah. and I will die. Yep. I am absolutely dead before the cast removal. I just needed that. I needed them to make a bad attack, and they've been playing this game pretty badly. So I definitely was willing to give them the out to play it, continue to play it badly. Um, alas, they did find just enough to get there. Unfortunately for me. Um. Hmm. So my opponent showed me a lot of random stuff that I did not see in the first game. It's me to wonder if maybe I don't want something different. I think I'm okay. I think I like this better. I like this fine. I don't think Draga Recruit is where I want to be at. This is what I mean, right? Like not blocking my 2-3 first strike. Like there's just a lot of really loose lines that my opponent's been taking. And I feel like if Oh, yeah, like, this is a good hand. God, if I can't win with a hand that looks like this, then my deck is probably just atrocious, which I guess we already knew it was, but this feels winnable. This feels winnable. Um, I think I'm going to planning on two rather than suspend Demon Bolt, because I don't have anything to do on three right now, and Demon Bolt is castable for just three. Like, that is also a fine thing. Um, oh Jesus, what do I take here? I guess I just take Crush the Weak. It's just so freaking good against my opponent's deck from what we've seen. I don't think there's any world where I don't just take that. Mm-hmm. Jeez, about time you showed up. Holy shit. Um, yeah, we're just gonna chill here. We're just going to chill here. Mm -hmm. Take our two. Ah, I see. So that's actually not bad for my opponent. So I actually ha do have to... Um... Okay, so this is... If its power was three or greater. So I'm gonna let this resolve. They're gonna put a one-one counter on the other thing. Target. Alright. Nice. So then I play a giant. And now we just see how badly we can hook my opponent. Like I've got two sweeper effects here. If they don't commit anything else to the board, I'll just play Giant's Amulet next turn, no problem. But, like, I feel like it's going to be kind of hard to lose this game, if we're being honest. Something of Vigilance. Yeah, two one-sided sweepers, no less. Like, I know they probably have the stupid cow in their deck, but, like, holy shit, this card is so bad. Why are people playing it? 
Why are people playing this card? Like, it's just not worth it, OP. It's just not worth it. I mean, even before they count me here. Yeah, there it is. You knew that was coming, right? Like, you knew that was coming. Yeah, yeah, attack me for one, or attack me for six, or whatever. Uh-huh. Um. Wait, they didn't even crew it. They just like they're being cowards. They're being big giant cowards right now. Um. That'll be making this tap for black. Cowards, yep. Giant cowards indeed. You got it. You got it. Um hmm. I'm also going to be a coward here, but oh my god, can you absolutely just fuck off auto tapper. No tax. I can wait. I can wait. Like, I'm going to destroy them. The longer this game goes, the better it gets for me because I just have, like, I very soon have the potential to just deal them six or deal all of their creatures, all their non giant creatures, six damage. So I can actually clear the ox next turn like yes i'll take my two in the end in the meantime ask me if i care i i'm like very 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 surprised by how unwilling they are to attack with this plow like very surprised um no it's just an ox which is I guess the idea is that here giant is a descriptor rather than a racial uh, trait, but like, bit weird, admittedly, bit weird. Um, Yeah, like, whatever, dude. Tap your stupid plow. Get out of here with that. Nice no blocker. Take eight. Bam. Mm-hmm. Like, what are you going to do? Recast your plow. Nice turn, OP. Sure. Anything else? Okay. My opponent really not trying to play against the sweeper here. Um, hmm. I guess this is just the turn where I just battle of frost and fire plus crush the week, isn't it? Yeah, because I actually get to get the spirit out of it too. Yeah, this is actually pretty good. So I do this. Uh-huh. Then I do this. Goodbye, cow. 
Oh yeah, they're just dead. Right. I knew that. I knew that. I guess they're technically not just dead. They have two cards in hand. One of them could be... Uh, yep, you got it. Well played opponent. You sure did reanimate your 2-2. Two -two. Okay! 2-0 with this admittedly very sketchy deck. 2-0, sorry. Like, what I mean is two wins. But you're right. 2-1 is, in fact, correct. We did lose the close one to the, uh, to the elf deck. I honestly think that we could have won that. Obviously, if we'd won that last one, then this one would have been a different matchup, and maybe we would have gotten crushed by another 2-0 deck. But, like, hey... We 2-1 with the deck that I'm pretty sure was awful. So, you know, we take those. We take those.